What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route 7, beat everybody, tried to train our Pokemon, and now it is time for us to go to the Celestial Tower. If you guys don't remember, the Celestial Tower is home to a bunch of spooky Pokemon. A bunch of, uh, yeah, a bunch of spooky Pokemon right here, Ghost, you know, Litwick. Elgium, you know, they come they come to mind and all that crud. And, well, Professor Juniper is going to be right here. And what is going on right here? Hi there. How are things with Skyla? Oh, you still haven't earned the, the gym badge yet. Well, if that's the case, I'll keep up the field work until the plane is ready to fly. Oh, yeah. Why don't you try using this? And, well, we grab ourselves a lucky egg, which is a very useful item. Giving that lucky egg to a Pokemon to hold uh, increases the amount of experience points received in the battle a, a little bit. Having a strong Pokemon will make it easier for, to fill your uh, Poke uh, Pokedex page. Oh, okay. So the Celestial Towers where the Pokemon are laid, away, laid to rest, not waste. Okay, so let's go right ahead and give that uh, lucky egg to somebody, somebody that needs it. So the Pokemon that would probably need it the most... Well, let's see. Desert Storm is a few levels away from evolving, like at level 8 levels away. Then you got Shedder at like level 40 some odd. Oh god, this is so difficult. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and give it to Shedder. Yeah, let's give it to Shedder just because it's, you know, it's about to battle and all that stuff. And Well, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a visit to the Celestial Tower. Now, the purposes of me being here is just to train up my Pokemon because, well... The next gym battle is going to be a little tough, and good old Draven has forgotten to train again. So, let's see. What am I doing here? Oh, yeah. Max Repel. Yes, we cannot use it just yet. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and battle these people. What's up? Indescribable energy is flowing to me. Like, is it really? Okay, so... Here we go, Psychic Joyce wants the battle, and she has come out with her Musharna. Now, this is a very, very tanky Pokemon when it comes to, like, you know, Psychic-type Pokemon. I hope... Yes, I have Faint Attack right here. And there we go, Faint Attack. Does its trick, but here comes the Hypnosis Attack. So that right there, kind of just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little angry about that. So let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon because, well, that's probably the best thing to do. Thankfully, we do have an Awakening right here. So wake up, Chariot Shedder. And here comes a Defense Curl. Luckily for us, this Pokemon is not as fast as, you know, many people would think. So here we go. Let's get this Faint Attack right here. And the Faint Attack. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is getting annoying right here. Why in the heck? Okay, so this is a, yeah. This is annoying just because it is a very tanky Pokemon. One defense curl can just, like, you half our uh, our attack right here. As you can see, it's doing another defense curl. If this doesn't work, obviously, it's going to put us back to sleep. It's an ongoing cycle. It really gets on, it gets on my nerves right here. So, luckily for us, we beat it. No more Mucharna. Yes. That's how you do it. Okay, and well, Musharna has given us a little bit of experience points, and look at that. Thanks to the Lucky Egg, we get just a little bit more. And well, time to move on right here. Okay, so there's an item right there. I kind of want to grab it, but this guy was in the way. So it looks like nobody's going to make it easier for us to get, grab these items. So let's go ahead and just battle these people. Why not? That's, that's, that's what we're here for. So here we go, taking on... Alberta. Like Edmonton, Alberta? I don't know. So here we go, Shadar. It does have uh, the advantage over these Pokemon right here, so let's go straight for the Faint Attack. Faint Attack doesn't do it, and a Flame Body right here will. Yeah, it will burn us instantaneously. But luckily for us, we get the Moxie, but we're not going to be using this Pokemon. Well, we get to heal it, right? Right afterwards. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and grab this item right here. We found ourselves a TM61 Will-O-Wisp, a move that is, uh, you know, very famous for burning people and all that crud. And, well, let's go ahead and give that Hyper Potion. That's always nice to actually grab. And let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. So, anywho, guys, in the last episode, I did explain to you guys what the priorities were going into... Uh, 
this next month. And that is, you know, uh, making sure that I finish up most of these walkthroughs. Because, yeah, I did come out with a lot of walkthroughs. There are some that, you know, I have yet to complete. And I need to... Hold on. I need to fix up this whole thing right here. I need to... Hold on. How do I do this? Crap baskets. All right, let's try this again. Let's use the mouse. The good old mouse right here. Clicking that. Let's sort them by... There we go. Okay, so that's how that works. We did get ourselves quite a few new... Uh, TM, so let's go right ahead and uh, take advantage of this. So X Scissor has been found. Let's give that to Side of the Torrent. Let's replace his Fury Cutter. So like I was saying, guys, yeah, I was, uh, you know, I was thinking it over, and there was just, there's just a lot of stuff that's currently going on in my life and right now that I kind of just want to, uh, I kind of just want to, uh, like, uh, condense everything down to where it doesn't necessarily have to be a hassle for me to do any of these walkthroughs right here. And that's kind of, like, that's kind of what, what I've been feeling as of lately. And, well, let's see, Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do anything like that. It's kind of, that's kind of what it's been feeling as of lately, guys. I'm sorry, but that's how it is. So, uh, from here... From here on, we're gonna be, you know, we're gonna be focusing on the on the games that we have right here, and then get to the next the next bunch of games that I have planned. Uh, one of those games, and I think this is probably gonna be the this may be the first time. Now you probably already, or you know, depending on when this episode comes out, this may be like the second time you'll hear it. But uh, Pokemon Moon will no longer be be played because while I was recording uh, the next few episodes of Pokemon Moon, I don't know how it happened. It, it just happens, guys. It does, and it always happens to me, but uh, my file that I had for Pokemon Moon got corrupted, and uh, yeah, there was no way to salvage it or anything like that, so yeah, we are stuck at whatever episode we were in. Uh, and th this this right here is just like you know kind of a, like a wake up call right here. Um, this kind of this is probably what led to this whole decision of like focusing on the games that I have right now. And uh, let's actually use this one right here. It, this is what led to this decision right here because it was just like okay maybe this is just a sign that we're doing a little too much, have no focus, no organ no structure organization within these uh, walkthroughs right here. So I might as well just focus on what we have right now uh get them like you know get them up here and then after that just focus on the next one pokemon moon i started a while back and it just never just never went you know it just never went the way i wanted it to guys um to be quite honest to be quite honest uh pokemon moon like the pokemon sun and moon games I played them quite a few times, and they, like, again, I, I just can't get used to the whole idea of, like, no gyms, but I see what they were going for in the, in, the, in, the, in this whole uh, this whole region, which is why, you know, I, I kind of felt like I needed to focus a little bit more, like, uh, like on, uh, on playing those games, because it was like, okay, so I need to know where this, this next trial is going to be, I need, a new, I need to do this, and... A lot of the titles that I had under the, the walkthroughs, it was kind of like I kind of felt was were misleading. So, yeah, it's kind of the reason why I. Um, it's kind of the reason to why, like uh, this is probably a good thing that my file got corrupted because now we could do something different. Not different in a sense that like we're not ever going to the Alola region. It's just that we're going to do something different, and uh, this is the reason to why I always buy physical copies of the game because, you know, they I don't know they have not not once have I ever ever had a issue with like corruption of the game or anything like that. So going forward, once we get there, we're gonna we're probably gonna be going into Pokemon Sun, and uh, you know between now or you know whatever you guys get this announcement or something like that between now and going into the next games it will give me enough time to like re-go like redo everything just check up every like what we need to do and all that stuff again again this is just a you know it's just my luck and you know this is just you know for the best right here for me because eventually like eventually we'll we'll have enough time to actually like get through everything, get to like do things the, the right way, if you guys know what I mean. 
I mean, if you guys remember when I was playing Pokemon Yellow, Crystal, and Emerald, they were the only games I was playing, and then eventually, you know, pandemic hit, coming out with more because I had more time, and when I was playing Pokemon uh, Yellow, Yellow, Crystal, and Emerald, I was more focused with what was going on in there and I finished everything all at once. I don't feel like I missed out on any little thing that was going on through those games and I, now you just don't see that in, uh, in some of these walkthroughs so that's that's probably where I'm going with this guys and eventually you know we're gonna get back we're gonna get back on track and all that stuff it's just you know we need it we need to we need to set our priorities and all that stuff so there we go we found ourselves a revive and uh, well let's see crap baskets I was gonna switch never mind Okay, so here we go, taking on another Pokemon trainer, and I just, you know, gotta find a, uh, gotta find a uh, who we're facing. Uh, his name is Bryce. Where the heck am I? Oh, are you serious? Oh my God. We still got one more floor. Okay. Anywho, let's go right ahead and use this uh, this move right here, Volt Switch. It's gonna work out. It is gonna work out right here, and the Volt Switch nearly beats this guy, so I'm gonna have to switch out. Let's go straight to the Pokemon that it will not affect, and that is Shadar. Well, hopefully it doesn't affect him, but here comes the Simple, or the Signal Beam. And, or what the hell? Simple Beam? A Simple Beam? I don't know what that is. Okay. Huh. That is, uh, that is odd. But here we go. Good old uh, faint attack right there, and more Pokemon experience points. And here comes a Duosion. So I just, I'm just gonna stay, stay put right here with good old uh, Shatter, and let's get this faint attack. And the faint attack nearly beats this guy. Holy crud! Okay, so yeah, this. Oh wow, what the heck? Yeah, that's what happens when uh, you use Pain Slit. Holy crap! Okay, so. That right there kind of knocked us down a peg, and well, yes, we have defeated our next opponent right here, but we have another one waiting for us, and you know what? Let's not do that. I think that's a doctor. I don't want to waste any of my uh, healing items right here, so let's go ahead and switch out. Side of the torrent right here, and uh, let's see right here. Talk to her. Yes, need a nurse help. Okay, so once you beat her, you'll actually you'll actually get healed in all that crud, so that should be fun. And well, here we go. Coming out with a Levani and it's still a grass type, but still a bug type. I do have that move right there, so let's see what it does. Here comes a razor leaf, just because you're faster than me a little bit, and that right there hurts us. And yes, it's still super effective. That grass type part is still affecting it, but you know, I don't know. It just it's weird to me. So let's go razor leaf again, and that. Oh my God! A critical hit. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Let's go with Giga Lift. Send out the dog. Okay, so here we go. Giga Lift ready and air cutter for the win. And that is how you do it right there. Oh my God. And look at this, Gigalift grows to level 37, and Dixie has been defeated, so I'm, I'm feeling good about that one right there. Okay then, time to give your Pokemon some energy, and just like that guys, we are healed. And, well, let's go right ahead and move up to the next level right here. I think this is the final floor, floor number four. Yes, we still got like three more trainers. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, stay with Side of the Torrent right here. Let's go ahead and talk to this lady and let's see what she's talking about. Oh my, what a young trainer. If it's all right, why don't we battle? Sure. Let's go. Crap baskets. Okay, so here we go. We're taking on Grace and she is coming out with... A Roselia. Don't we have a Roselia on the team somewhere? Yes, we do. And here we go. X scissors for the win. And oh crap, baskets. Never mind. Now the question is, do we have a poison type Pokemon on our team? I don't think so because yes, those uh, poison spikes will poison the next Pokemon. And well, we don't really need another Pokemon because well, we just won. Never mind. Anywho, uh, let's grab this item right here. And we found ourselves a PP up. PP up. That's always funny. 
There's an item right there. I am going to battle this guy. Or chick. I still want to fight. The Wandering Spirits are still commanding me. Commanding you to do what? Okay, so here we go, taking on uh, Sarah, and she is coming out, or she came out with a yaw mask. And, well, let's go right ahead and, well, let's go ahead and use a surf attack. There we go, yaw mask. Take this, uh, oh crap, baskets, man, they all, oh wow. So, my question is, why would you do that knowing that you were going to faint? Okay, so, because he, they wanted to do that to me, and it takes a lot. So... She's coming out with Goth Rita. I am not taking that chance. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You know what? Let's go with Magneto. Let's go with Magneto right here. All right, Magneto. Do your thing. Get this. Let's go. And here comes a Frisk. And, well, she found an Amulet Coin. Too bad you're not going to get that. Because, well, here comes a Volt Switch. And, well. Oh, crap, Baskets. Okay, so we, we, we just switched out. Let's go with Desert Storm right here. Let's see what happens. Let's go right here. Oh, here's the Flatter. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, so that right there increases our special attack, but gets us all confused. Hmm. See what that, that does. Okay, so let's go with a Dragon Breath. I think this is a special move. And yes, for the win. Okay, so you are increased right there. And yes, Dragon Breath. One more time for the win. And Gotharita is no more. Okay. Look at that. Okay, so there it is. Level 37. Desert Storm, Gigalith, and everybody else getting some levels. That's great. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this little item right here. We found ourselves a TM65 Shadow Claw. It's always nice to actually have. And... We got one more distinguished gentleman of battle right here, and he's like, let us have our Pokemon battle with gentleman gentlemanly reserve. That's a that's a cool way to say it. Okay, so here we go. Gentleman Daniel wants the battle, and he's coming out with an oh, oh an Ombreon. Oh crap, okay. Let's go. And I think Ombreon is weak against bug type Pokemon. So here we go again. If we don't if we know anything about Ombreon, it is that it is a bulky Pokemon. One of the bulkier of evolutions. And well a good old X scissors will work on this guy right here. And then oh crap baskets. Why won't you faint? Oh, because you're not that weak. You are not that weak against us, so here we go, X Scissors. Let's go. And just like that, we have defeated him. And Gentleman Daniel is not so happy about that reserve we just had. Okay, so let's see, where the heck are we? Okay, so let's move on right here. And see what we're all about. Okay, so here we are in the, uh, the very top of this tower right here. If you guys remember... This is where we had to take care of like a little situation with a Pokemon, make him happy or something like that. But if you go right here, nothing happens. But if you touch this, it's the Celestial Tower Bell. Would you ring that bell? Yes. And we rang the bell. Okay. Alrighty. It's pretty awesome. The sound of the bell re reverberates through the area. Okay. So. Uh, nothing really happens right here, guys. I just wanted to get up to the tower, train a little, which we, we will we will be doing uh, off-screen and all that stuff. But that is pretty much our episode right here, guys. Uh, in the next episode, we will be going into the... What was it called again? Miss Trouton? No, not Miss Trouton. Yes, Miss Trouton City Gym. Uh, the puzzle right there is going to be a little bit uh, messed up, so yeah, just be ready to yeah, just be ready for me to throw a big rage right here. So, thank you guys again for uh, being patient. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, in the next episode, gym leader battle and all that crud. I think it's our seventh badge, maybe. I don't know. No, it's our it's our sixth battle. So, thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.